Hi everyone, Ryan here from Fight Game Analysis, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the upcoming fight between Javante Davis and Raleigh Romero. But before we jump into that, if you've been enjoying the content, please go ahead and click on the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate your support. All right, December 5th, got a big fight coming up between Javante Davis and Raleigh Romero. Now look, I gotta be honest, I'm surprised this fight is even happening. I remember Raleigh Romero wins his last fight, he starts calling for it. Got some funny little stuff on Instagram coming out on his social media. He's out there boxing he's like a he's sparring a little baby or something. He's he's got some other stuff coming out where he's calling Javante Davis his kid, constantly referring to him as his father and stuff. And you know, some of it was funny, some of it wasn't, whatever. Um, but I can respect that man calling for a big fight, trying to get that money fight. Javante Davis clearly has now been established as a pay-per-view star. He's out there, he's looking super impressive, he's young, he's making these big moves. Who wouldn't want to call him out? But then I actually heard the fight get announced. Then we actually heard that it was official. I thought Javante Davis had his sights on something bigger. I don't know. Maybe this is this is almost like a stay busy fight. And I know that sounds crazy in some ways, right? But I'm being honest. I haven't sat down, have not break down the past footage, haven't really analyzed the tapes to see how these two are going to match up. But my first thoughts is that this is not going to go well for Raleigh Romero. Look, I mean, he's a power puncher. He likes to go out there. He likes to try to land big shots. He likes to try to enforce his will. I mean, think about his last, think about his last three opponents, Marinez, Sparrow, and Yigit. Do those sound like world beaters? Do those sound like people that these championship resumes are built off of? <laughs> now who think about Javante Davis's last three opponents? Yurioka Scamboa, Leo Santa Cruz, Mario Barrios. Far better competition, and he stopped all three of them. Looked incredibly impressive in all three of them. All of his fights, he's continually growing. You know, it was funny. I was on Instagram the other day. I'm looking at some posts. I don't remember where it was. But it was, it was some post, and Ishe Smith chimed in. Ishe Smith, for those of you who haven't heard of him, he was he's... I think he's retired now, but he's a veteran boxer. He was probably a pro for 20 years, maybe a little bit more. He was on the original, ah, what was the name of it? That show it had Sylvester Stallone, the boxing, the contender, the boxing reality program. I believe it was called the contender. He was on there, uh, ended up being signed by Floyd Mayweather and later his career ended up winning a world title. Anyways, he left a comment on this post and basically what he said, and I'm paraphrasing, but basically what he said was, He's never seen anybody with the, with the power that Javante Davis has. At 135 pounds, he's never seen anybody who packs that kind of punch. Said he saw him knock out junior middleweights in the gym with headgear and 16-ounce gloves. Think about that. 16-ounce gloves with headgear, knocking out guys at 154 pounds. That's real power. So yeah, can Riley punch? Yeah. Riley's got some punches going. You see out there, he's got a really impressive record. He's like 14 and 0 with 12 knockouts or, or something along those lines. But there's so much more to the game than just having power. Ask Deontay Wilder. Ask Deontay Wilder. He's got ridiculous power, but there's more to the game than that. You know, Riley goes out there and he just tries to strong arm people, bully him, enforce his will on him. And yeah, when you're doing it against a lesser competition, you're able to get those punches off. Look, but we still need to mention the fact that even in those fights against those lesser competition, I remember Yigit landing some nasty left, hand on, left hands on dude. And Raleigh's tough. He's resilient. He took him. No big deal. You're not going to take those same left hands from Javante Davis. You're not going to be able to go in there and not focus on defense and win against Javante Davis. You're not going to be able to go in there and just hang out in the pocket, overextend on your right hand. You're not going to be able to just not transition well between offense and defense. Man, Gervonta Davis is highly skilled. He's explosive. He lands that left hand with ferocious power. He knows how to set traps. I mean, Raleigh Romero doesn't even have that developed of a game of, of using feints, really controlling the distance, understanding timing. And he's going to go out there and beat Gervonta Davis? You know, I looked around a little bit. I couldn't find the odds on what this fight are yet. But, man, I'm, I'm going to be surprised to see what, what, what Vegas has this one at because... Um, I think, it's, I think it's going to be the Javante Davis show. As the fight gets closer, I'm going to break down some actual footage, get a real true analysis of this, analysis of this whole thing, see how they match up. 
Again, like I said, Rather Murray, he's got a big right hand. And if he lands that right hand on anybody, true, he can do damage. He can hurt people. It's big. But there's a big difference between being able to get it off in the gym and get it off in a fight. There's a big difference between being able to get it off against a contender or a journeyman and being able to land it against Gervonta Davis. So, not again, not surprised that he was calling him out. Really surprised that we're seeing this one happen December 5th. But I'm always looking forward to seeing Gervonta Davis in the ring. Young and upcoming absolute superstar, continuing to see his game progress. Always looking forward to see what he has next for us. So let me know what you guys think. Am I completely wrong in dismissing what Raleigh Romero brings to the table? Or is this going to be the Gervonta Davis show? Once again, on December 5th, he just continues to roll. Let me know what you guys think.